Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Thursday. Happy Thursday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. I'm up, got myself a cup of coffee here, ready to take on my day. So after the weekend and having, like the weekend wasn't 4th of July, but Monday was 4th of July. So we had all the fun foods from there and we kind of stretched it out for a few days. And then yesterday they weren't feeling so well. So I just made like a big pot of soup and ate that and just had a little bit of fettuccine last night. So it was an easy, day there wasn't no there was no need to make a lot of food so today at last night i got a request can we make some waffles mom so i'm going to make some food today <laughs> that's a good thing to do make food when you have to i try to have been using up things in the the refrigerator the pantry freezers that's what i've been doing not going shopping which is a good thing so just making up what we have so today i thought let me do a cook with me from my pantries and my freezers for family inexpensively because if you go out to the store and have to run to go get things it costs money right and you can make things inexpensively right for your pantry you can make things cheaper than what i'm going to do today by making them from scratch or whatever ingredients you have on hand so i've got a ton of these these i got at the discount store so i'm gonna make waffles you can make homemade waffles for even this was really expensive inexpensive for me to purchase so it's cheaper to buy this than it is to buy all the ingredients for myself for when i got this so that's why i got this but you can make your own waffles really cheap just some flour oil what else would you need? Egg, maybe baking soda, baking powder. There's Google. Google, best waffle recipe ever. Keep simple. If there's something in there that you don't have, skip it. There is really basic ones that you can use. So we're going to make waffles for breakfast today. That'll be easy. I have um, down to, I'm just thinking, we're down to like not a lot. We have some fresh fruits and veggies, but I'm thinking that I'll serve this with applesauce if they want to have some fruit on the side with it. That'll be a good easy breakfast. So we're going to just have a day of cooking from your pantry, freezers, and refrigerators. Not not so much refrigerator because that's kind of getting low, but pantry and freezers. Finding things inexpensively to feed your family. This does not cost much. You can stretch it out and make a ton if you need to. It's a great way to make and stretch your money for your family. So let's make some waffles. You guys ready? All right, let's go. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you why I mix this up. So waffles, again, are super inexpensive to make. I'm going to use the recipe in the back of my box here. And it's two cups. I feel like this is not going to be very much. But we will just do the small batch. I know. Small size. I do have a few eggs left over, which is good. I saved some from last week. Remember, I had to use up my eggs. Now, I'm going to use almond milk because I have some that can't do milk. But you, regular milk, if you can do powdered milk, this is a really great way to use that kind of ingredient so you don't have to do um, any of your drinking milk whatever works for your family. And I don't feel like melting any type of oil right now. So I'm gonna use grapeseed oil. That's gonna work. You just need two tablespoons, any kind of oil. You can get oil really, really cheap. It doesn't cost a whole lot to make. And then just mix this up. It's such a small batch. You know I'm gonna come back and make more, but we'll see. I don't wanna make too much today again, just to have too much on hand. Perfect. I'm just going to heat up my um, waffle iron over here and we'll add it. Now there's a lot of things you can add to waffles to make them a little more tastier. You can put some sprinkles in there. That's more fun. That doesn't really affect the taste, but it's fun for kids. Chocolate chips. I'm going to add some chocolate chips because they asked me to add some chocolate. You can add nuts. You can add um, mashed bananas in there, make banana ones. You can do chopped up apples. You can even add oatmeal, flax seed, any of that kind of stuff to it to make it more filling. When they come out, you can spread peanut butter on them. That's a good protein made meal with peanut butter and syrup. That way, that's a really good way to serve it however you want for your family. Just ways that you can stretch it and make it good for everybody. But fruit on top, you got no fruit, that's okay. You can even take frozen strawberries, blend them up with a little bit of sugar and make a strawberry syrup for them. That's an easy way too. So let's make these waffles.
Okay, I feel like I need to make one more batch of those because that just is not that much. All right, that looks like a much better plate for our sis family. Right here, waffles and syrup for breakfast. Very simple if they want applesauce, they can have applesauce. So let's move on to lunch. Okay, so yesterday, you know, we dealt with a little bit of sickness and not feeling so great, and everybody ate the noodle soup and like ate it up. It was gone, and I was like, wow, my family goes in spurts, so I'll start making something, like if I made like that chicken and dumpling casserole. Well then, everybody loves it, so guess what? They want me to make it again, so I feel bad that you got it yesterday and you're gonna get it today, but it's what my family's eating in real life eating. So we're just going by what everybody likes. Soup is a great way to make something that everybody can eat. It can fill your belly. It's nutritious. Um, you can stretch it if you need to, add more liquid, add more veggies, add more filler stuff, whatever you wanna do. We've made so many soups. We make a lot of soups. So I'm going to pull and make chicken noodle soup again because it was good. And I pulled these out of the freezer. We'll have some bread with it. That'll be a little bit more yummier side than just crackers. So I filled up my pot with water here. I'm gonna add the same thing I did yesterday. I'll tell you what I add. For homemade chicken noodle soup, we're gonna use some chicken bouillon. This is really easy with your water. It looks like a lot, that's not a lot. Onion, you could add chopped, oh, chopped up onion. I'm gonna use minced one. Sorry, minced dried onion, just because I've got that in hand and then I've got some fresh veggies here. And I haven't been eating, so I'm gonna just chop up a few celery in here. This will just be an easy way to gather up things in your refrigerator, pantry. If you don't have any of this, you don't have to add any of these veggies. That's quite all right. Get a package. I'm gonna add frozen veggies. That's a great thing to add to soups, and you don't have to worry about having anything fresh on hand. But sometimes it helps. You can freeze these veggies to pull out and add to it. I'm just gonna cut up a few because I have lots left over here that we haven't eaten. So just chop some up. We'll add one more celery. So I think celery is one of those things that is underrated, but it makes things taste so good, like celery seed. Can you add it to stuff? So good. So that's why I'm gonna add mixed vegetables. I'll get some vegetable, vegetables in there. And then here's the chicken. It's like a block of chicken. It's like a weird, it's literally a block of frozen chicken, but it's it's like shredded chicken, delicious. That's it, I'm gonna add some um, pepper over here, put it on my stove and just simmer it. And then when it's done and ready to come to a boil, I'll add these noodles to it. And lunch is finished. So the soup is easy, that's gonna cook. That I threw together in less than five minutes, heat it up, I'll add the noodles when it's ready. Lunch is finished, now I'm gonna move on to dinner. The one thing my family loves is the burrito bowls. We make those, love them. You can do these from scratch. I have a kit because they were cheap and we got them. You do not have to, you can just make this from scratch. These are the Adobe Steak Burrito Bowls. All it is, I have my own beef right here. I'm actually gonna use beef right here and then I'm also gonna take some of this chicken and also heat that up as well. So it's that, it has rice. The rice is cilantro lime white rice. You could just make plain white rice, add some flavoring to it too, and that's, and then it comes with a packet. It's adobe, mild adobe seasoning mix. You can add that just to your meat, like a taco seasoning or a fajita seasoning, whatever you wanted to add to it to add spice. And it does have mild queso blanco sauce, which is really good. You don't have to. 
you can literally have just regular cheese. And then um, I don't have any peppers or anything else, but I do have beans. So we'll do beans. I've got guacamole in there and salsa. I'm gonna make some of this up. This is really easy to make for tonight. And then I'm also gonna put these out because I forgot to put these out. I don't have any more taco shelves. Or ta like soft tacos, takis. So some of my kids might make little takis out of these, which will be fun. So burrito bowls, nacho bar, taco bar, something like that. That's a really cheap way to make food for your family. If you don't have any of the like chips or tortillas, you can make it on rice and call it, it's a haystack. We have done that so many times. It's basically, it's a burrito bowl. You do rice and then you add, we had um, ground beef. You can do ground beef, steak or chicken, whatever you have. Um, ground beef with taco seasoning and then you put the, all the toppings on top. The, the salsa, the cheese, lettuce, um, all of whatever you want on top. That's a really good filler meal. And to way to top it off and make it a little more yummier is take Dorito chips, save a bag of Doritos, squish them up, put them in individual bags. You'll only get so many bags, but put them in small, like sandwich size bags and then pull and put them in the freezer. They'll last you forever. Pull those out and then you can like sprinkle some on top of your taco um, haystack. It just gives a little bit more yummy flavor. It's not like you're eating a Dorito, but at least it gives it like a little bit more yummy flavor too. You can, if not, that's okay too. So let's start cooking. I'm gonna get a pan out here with some oil. I'm gonna cook my beef because it is raw and frozen. So this will be delicious burrito bowls. The rice is really simple. Just put it in a pot with some water and cook it on the stove. Everything is cooking away over here on the stove. Take this off. Put my seasoning pack in here. This basically, it's, it's like an adobe spicy sauce. You could do chicken, or not chicken. You could do taco seasoning. That would work just fine flavoring this. I think I'm gonna save the other one for chicken. So just let this mix this up in here. This is great. It's like, it's like a Southwestern spice. Because I know I have one from HelloFresh and it tastes like that. So this, just cook this up. This is so simple. Having all my meals done before the, any time today is a great thing because now I don't have to worry about food for the rest of my day. And so I cook once early in the morning, get everything done and I'm free for the day because I have a lot to do. It's not like I just have one or maybe two children. I have a ton of children. So my time spent with everybody is individual and if I have to stop and do things, this is done, I have to worry about it, which is great for me. I love to be able to have this done and not worry about it. If I wasn't making breakfast, I wasn't making lunch, and like all I had to do was this, yeah, maybe I'd just wait till later. But since I'm filming and sharing, it works out to do it better in the early morning for myself because then the rest of my day, I can be free. Let me put this lid on here. I'm loving my pans. They are awesome. The Caraway pans, I really, really like these a lot. They're not, not sticking to them. They're doing good. My rice is almost boiling. Soup. Almost boiling over here. And this is good. Got the waffles. I have soup and bread for lunch. And I'm just sitting here thinking about tomorrow because tomorrow there's Gather Your Fragment Friday. So kind of planning ahead, thinking about things to make. Definitely down to gathering fragments, using things up. So a lot of more staple meals. And that's a great thing to do too. So just trying to look around. What can I make to be creative? What can I make that the kids are going to like for the weekend? That kind of stuff. That's a good way. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm making a little mini list over there. I've got like two things on it. Not very much, but that's okay. <laughs> We'll get there. We will find that we always find something to make. There's always something you can make. If you think you have nothing, you probably have something that make. Get very creative with some plain things. I remember many times just having pasta and opening up a can of chili beans and putting it on top of the pasta. And then I realized there's something called, I think it's called Cincinnati chili. I know you add more stuff to it to make it the Cincinnati flavor, like a cinnamon or something, which I don't care for, but maybe you do if you're in Cincinnati. But basically it's chili beans on top of spaghetti. And it's really good with cheese, shredded cheese. You can put saltine crackers on it. It's one of those like meals that you can just stretch. People like it. The kids like it. I was like, wow, they're actually eating that. That's a good thing. So you'd be surprised at what you can come up with. You get creative. Just kind of think, what do I have? And like I said, Google's got a great thing. You just type in your ingredients. It'll come up with some recipes for you. I know there's an app. I just don't know which one it is. But doing it, Google will show you some things too. So it's a good thing.
we're gonna keep cooking these. Okay, so since I'm gonna do some beef, I'm gonna do chicken as well, because not everybody loves beef. I like beef, I don't like chicken as much anymore. Funny how you go through phases in your life of things you like, like I used to never eat. I didn't really like beef very much. I know you're supposed to have it, I just didn't like it. So I'll eat ground beef, but now I just like beef, like little stick pieces, which is rather different, or I didn't like anything else. So I'm gonna just put these in here, and then we'll have these little bowls. I'll keep everything separate, and we'll just create our own whatever kind of bowls I want. So I'm gonna put this in here. Put the lid on this and let this simmer, and then we can get chicken. This big frozen piece, as well as the beef, which works out. It looks like soup is boiling. Okay, soup is boiling, so let me get my pasta. I'm just gonna put the lid back on this and let this kind of come to another boil and then I'll just turn it off and let it simmer the rest. I added a lot of noodles because yesterday I had a lot of broth because kids came and took just the noodle part. So this will be good. Chicken is all thawed here. So I'm gonna put this seasoning pack in here. Mix it around, I have to add some water. So I'm gonna get my chicken is all done, so I'm gonna put it, let's see, let's see, probably just put it in a pan like this, there we go. Perfect, that'll taste delicious. So we've got the beef, let me show you. We've got the beef here, we've got the chicken, and then I'm just gonna pour beans into this glass dish right here. I'm gonna basically make like a little, you know, spread of it, and everybody can choose whatever ones they want. I think I'm gonna do chili beans and then I'm gonna rinse out these black beans and just add it to it. Instead of doing like two cans of chili beans, I think that'll work. That'll give just a nice little, little mixture of beans. So you've got the black and you've got the chili beans in there, so it'll have the flavor, and I think that'll work good. Just something different because there's plenty of sauce. There we go. And we'll have this, and then um, we have the queso cheese. This is really good. So I don't have any shredded cheese. I do have black cheese, I just have to shred it. Which I have to pull my food processor, but it, or actually I do have a sliced shredder, don't I? I do, but I probably won't get that out. So this I'll just put in a bowl. So this is a little bit, but it goes a long way. And the other thing I'm gonna do is put these Takis in my air fryer. It says to heat them up, otherwise they're gonna be chewy. Unheated shells will be chewy, so. It says do not heat in toaster oven because it could risk a fire. What? But this is an air fryer. So I feel like if I put it at lower temperature, it's going to be good. Oh yeah, smells like Takis.
Something else we can put on our little burrito bowls is some corn. I put these in the microwave last night. We had two more and I went to like, we were cleaning everything up and I opened the microwave and I'm like, oh, I totally forgot to put the corn off. So I'm just gonna cut the corn off the cob, put it in a bowl that can be another topping. Right, so we have got breakfast for the family for a relatively inexpensive amount of money. Very, very cheap. We have got delicious lunch. Look at the soup. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Everybody's favorite. Got some bread right here. And then these are the burrito bowls. So the kids can do, the, they're probably just gonna eat these like Takis because they love Takis. Have Takis been around forever? Like I never had a Taki until I moved to the South. I'm sure they're up north, right? I'm sure they are. I don't know. I just never had it. Maybe they're newer. Maybe they're just coming more into the realm of groceries. I don't know. So if they want to do this, they can. If not, they can do a bowl with rice, beans, their choice of protein. There's some corn and there's cheese. And then I'll also pull out salsa. I have sour cream. And we also have a guacamole in the refrigerator. So those will be delicious. Dinner cooking from my pantry. And we also have plenty, plenty of desserts. We still have cookies and things left over from the 4th of July, so I'm not gonna make any, any desserts at all. This was inexpensive, easy cooking. It didn't require a lot of fresh things. Didn't require anything that was staple from the refrigerator. If you don't have like the corn I had, if you don't have the corn, don't put the corn in there. You can make all of this stuff from things that are stored in your pantry or in your freezer and any leftovers in your refrigerator. So, all right, so you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Remember, you are designed, created, and selected by God to do great, wonderful things. And once you start walking on that path that he has for you, it's an amazing adventure. It has some ups and downs, some bumps and bruises, but it's part of the refining to get you to where he needs you to be. So have a beautiful rest of your day, and I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video. And see you tomorrow with Gather Your Fragment Friday. All right, see ya. Bye.